Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another edition of Ken's Tech. Now, this series is going to be called App Wronged Up, and I'm going to be going through different types of apps, grouping them, showing you guys in a quick video how quick I can, how, how, how useful the apps are, and the ones that I use. So, in the first edition, as I said, it's going to be we're going to be going through instant messages. So, we have it is quite a model, a lot of instant messages apps, as I have seen in over the days that have came out, especially after Google acquired WhatsApp. A lot of people may be looking for alternative. It depends on if Google depends on imposing Google Plus on WhatsApp to get you to use Google Plus. So, you know, a lot of people want to avoid that. So, they'll be looking for alternatives such as Telegram, you know, Go SMS Pro. Those are messages. Those are message app. But the ones that I personally use, and I really find that it keeps me updated with of everybody in my circle. Um, those ones are, are BBM, WhatsApp, Viber, Skype, um, Facebook Messenger, and I'm going to show you guys one called Couple as a special as a special for this um, event. So the first one is BBM. Now bear in mind, this is only I find that BBM only opens in portrait mode so I'm really sorry guys who are bearing me so BBM everybody knows BBM for blackberries and it's been out for a while it was very useful and the only thing that stopped people from buying other applications in the past by uh, sorry buying uh, other phones in the past was the fact that they didn't have BBM so before we had all the other the Android um HCs and the um, iPhones and stuff that people bought bought blackberries because blackberry had a certain plan and it had a certain messenger that connects you to all your friends so a lot of people really found this useful and really and truly since it came to um, Android platform it is really still useful so you see you can set your name your status at the top you can easily go here to open a new chat and I'm not going to be opening any chat because I don't want to give anybody, anybody pins but you know everything comes up first you can search for your contacts and everything so it's really nice you can even create groups now and like how then again you could do it on, on the Blackberries too, but you know it's a very useful thing to group, group your friends. You could talk a lot of junk with other college people. You know, you may find that useful. You know, they have a tab here for friends. I'm not gonna open the pictures, but you could you could easily click on the pictures and it'll come to full screen and you find that very useful when you when you are scrolling through people's status. It, it makes a lot a little more of a Facebook feel to BBM. So when you're scrolling through statuses, you can see people's status, what they put up, you know, how they add you, you know, different things they, they may, you may want to see about the person, not stalking them, but, you know, you just keep it up to date with their, with their, with their preference. So you can easily go from the left, you can easily see your all the chats open, your feed, you know, they have some, they call channels now, you can actually connect to certain channels, like, you know, I see one was WWE and stuff, and I'm not sure where shot comes from, that's probably a new update, but. You see, you have some. You can see the invites, see the groups that you're in. You see how much contacts you have, and only about ten for my friends use use what use BBM. So I just keep it for those people that I want to keep in touch with. It's a very cool app, and you guys can go and check it out. Now moving on to the next one. Okay, the next app I'm going to go into is WhatsApp. Now WhatsApp is similar to BBM, you know, but it's more cross. It was more cross platform before KBM, BBM came to Android. So WhatsApp now is a very it first. They said you get the first year free, and then you get 99 cent there after. You have to pay 99 cent per year there after. I don't really know how much people actually pay that 99 cent because um mine has never expired. You have WhatsApp for years now, but it's a very cool and. A very nice app to have so you can easily see a half year group here my friends are going to plan to go paintball on, on July 13th so you have the group here we are here talking you know, a bunch of junk we are talking about certain things we can do and in the group messaging you know, a lot of people like this you know you can see that everybody chats comes in a different color so once the group is be it has begun you can easily go and see the the um the chats the different who's talking or what's not um, even if you were on offline for a bit when you come back on online now it will show you okay well the amount of messages you have have missed so we we'll have like okay twenty four on red messages or thirteen on red messages and it will show you from where you have to where you have to scroll on to read to catch up to be on part of the group so that's really cool you could go into this but this the chat here you can easily open to the um the all chats you can open all your accounts you have that are available on whatsapp and easily jump in a message um at each and every one of them you can go to to this, this tab you go into settings you can change your profile picture you go into your account settings you can make the payment and you can change your account you can transfer your account to another device say you lost say you um you have changed your sim card and you want to change your whatsapp contest to a new a new 
sim card you can easily go into and change your settings now you can easily go into um, privacy and they, they have a, a, a built-in that you can actually turn turn off last scene so a lot of people have that problem with whatsapp whereas you go on whatsapp and so people are, are looking and stalking you and be like oh you was online you messaged me so that that's very annoying and you know sometimes you are busy and have to reply to people that a lot of people prefer bbm so you can easily go and say okay well yeah you know i i am going to i'm not going i'm going online but i don't want to replay as yet so you could turn off your last scene i find that it doesn't really work that good sometimes people can still see your last scene or you could or it, it more takes off your last scene than a person's last scene so it's like you can't see anybody's last scene if you don't want anybody to see yours so that's how i that's how you think it works so um i'm going to continue guys now going on to the next app next app is viber and a lot of you guys may know viber is very a cool app and you know is apart from it, it's not like whatsapp it is like whatsapp but it adds a little more functionality you can call people over wi-fi which is very useful so say i'm home and a lot of people a lot of us have wi-fi networks whether it's in our in our local town or whether it's in our personal home a lot of us have wi-fi connections so it's very easy to use so you can easily go into this here you can easily go into the the person you have on, on viber you could go on the oh, number blah, blah, blah. and you and you can go and call the person you know give them a call or what's not on Viber and they're able to call once they're connected to Wi Fi or they have a data plan, they're able to pick up anywhere they're at. So, it's very cool. You can also have groups in here. You can also change your profile picture, you can change everything, you can change your background, it's smart notification so you know exactly who is calling you. And I have a certain notification that it shows a certain song that it plays, I like it um, when somebody calls me and stuff. So, that's very cool. So, you guys can go jump into Viber, just like WhatsApp, just a functionality of able to call the person over Wi Fi. Also, forgot to mention that BBM also has that feature. BBM Voice, it co it's called BBM Voice, and you easily once you get into Wi Fi and a person can enter Wi Fi, you can add a plan. You can call the person, and it will it will person it will call just like Skype or Viber, and that addition made it very useful in terms of just even when I have my BlackBerry and they had on my service. Once I'm going to Wi Fi, it still call the person, and I have a BlackBerry AF20, so that's pretty old, but you know, it still works. Okay, now going into Skype. Now Skype is a very standard, you know, it's more for video chatting. So you guys that have relatives in different states, overseas or what's not, you want to keep up to date with them. You know, but, uh, Skype is a very, very good app to have. And I recommend it to anyone. See, I have a group chat here going on. Some fellas that I play with League of Legends on, you know, they will go and they will call on everybody on, on in the call and we will, we will play together. Ranked team, you know, you guys that play League of Legends, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know, if you don't know League of Legends, you could go and play. I'm not that good, but hey, it's good. It's a good game. So you see different people have here. In the Skype gives you notifications about people's birthdays, you know, and stuff like that. And what I really like about Skype is that recently, um, before you had to play, pay for Skype to be to group call, you have to pay for Skype Premium. Now, and this in in the recent updates, I saw that Skype has made group calling free. So now you can actually video chat with all your friends. Like how Ovo works. Those of you who use Ovo will know what I'm talking about. Well, see how how Ovo works. You can call everybody in the group, and it will be very useful. And you can easily see all their faces. And it's no free. So that's a very good addition. You know, you guys can go video chat. You can easily use it as a normal instant message, just messaging your people. But a lot of people only use it for video chatting which is still good and I appreciate it you guys can go in change the profile picture see other people for pictures you know it works and now going into messenger messenger now this messenger is messenger is Facebook messenger and you guys may I, I it's very good in that everybody almost everybody has a Facebook account and to keep up with them on their smartphones is even more easier with Facebook Messenger. Now you see I can come here and I see a chat here that that is open I can go ahead and say okay um, I can easily open chat head. Now when I open the chat head, now it's gonna pop up a little, little bubble on the side. Now in the, in this feature, now you can easily go and do other stuff. You say I'm browsing the into the internet and I want to see okay, well John has messaged me, so I don't want to go and have to go back into Facebook all the time to reply to him. Facebook Messenger makes that easy with this chat head here, so I can just open the chat head, close it back. I can go through and, and see very easy I'll keep all my apps. I mean you have more than one chat head, all of them appears here or in behind one nerd in the bubble so you can easily open all go to the different chat heads 
and that's a very cool feature that I, I people really appreciate from Facebook Messenger. You know, you guys can go and check that out. You know, everybody has a set, everybody has Facebook. You can create groups, your groups that you have on Facebook. As I have some examples here, roommates, family, and what's not. You can use a call on Facebook. I, I, there's a new feature you can actually call the person on Facebook. So, they, it's very cool over Wi Fi access. So I all, as you realize, all instant messages apps are going that route where you can actually call the person over Wi Fi. So, it really saves you. I mean, if you have a person that had a plan on your phone, instead of using your actual money to call the person your minutes, you can uh, just call the person over from your data plan and save more time, more money, and what's not. So, that's a really cool. Now, the special edition for this, this app, Roundup. It's going to be couple. I just received a message on couple, so I hope it's not too personal that I have to edit out. Uh, Rizzy couple is just an app for two. And I didn't say two, I mean you guys are in a relationship, your girls are in a relationship. You know, you just want that that time to just spend, you just talk to your your couple, your other half. And what I, what I like about this is that sometimes I may have a little annoying personal WhatsApp. And since all, all, WhatsApp shows me. Um, last scene and who went online. If I don't want to talk to that person right away, it's kind of frustrating. I have to go online to talk to my person I want to talk to, and still not um not talk, not avoid that person that is there as well. So a couple makes it just out for two. You could go online. You can share things. Nobody else will see. It's just you, you guys. That you know, you know, you know. I'm not gonna go there, but in share things that else will see, and it's very cool. You're very useful. You can go here. You can see. You can set your uh, your spouse's birthday. You can set the and the anniversary date. You, know, you got together. You can set. You know. All these, all these different things. You know, they show me the upcoming anniversary because you know, twenty fifteen coming, which will make sense. So, yeah, guys, it will show you um the anniversary. You know, you know when when you guys got together and all that stuff. Moments, you no, know, it's pictures that you guys share. It could be personal, could be not. It's like some. It's I have an indication of like snap Snapchat. But the person could only view the image for like three seconds, so you tease us out there, and you know what I mean. But I'm not gonna go there either. <laughs> so it's very useful in that aspect, and you may go into store, you have certain emoticons you can use. It's very wide range, and what I like about this um, is actually Tumkiss. Um, Tumkiss, you can go into Tumkiss and oh, invite the part. We get the person motivation. Say you know your your, your partner is waiting for you to in, to come to to join Tumkiss. And when the person turns, you can put your finger anywhere on the screen. And the person could put their finger on the screen as well. And what will happen is that it will form a vibrate and turn pink. Uh, she's not joining right now. I don't know why. But anyway, so hey, for the video's sake, you know, I just mentioned it to you guys. So you can put your finger on the screen. It will show your finger, finger print on this screen. Just as, as I'm doing here. And the person will see it there. And the person will place their finger on your finger. And and it will form a vibrate and turn pink and on red and stuff like that. So it's like very cool. And it's, it's a sorry like a more thing you guys can go into pink together you can send videos say me I could go ahead and draw something before I can paint something myself saying to her I could I could go in and invite her to paint you could draw something together so it, those long distance relationships it kind of gives you a little more um, things to do uh, also for you guys that are faithful and and good those of you who are unfaithful this app is not for you because you can see the person's location once the person's on Wi-Fi or have a data connection you can see the person's location and you'll be like okay well wait wait where is she at why is she there you know you don't want to do that if you're not faithful so yeah so it does bear that in mind guys <laughs> and what I like about this app is that before I had to pay for um Emoticon, smileys and what's not but with this this update a recent update that it came to with it had, you can actually just share a, a picture from your moments whether to instagram facebook whatever and it will automatically uh, it will uh, uh, unlock sorry these different emoticons it has one here for romeo and she has the one for juliet and you know all these different ones you could before i had to bite them for nan instinct which wasn't was much much not what much but you know in this one you can easily go to you can set certain preferences different thing different more emoticons which are very very useful i must say and i really use this app a lot when they want to get away just talk to her and have that time alone and you know it's very 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 nice app oh she's online now i gotta reply but <laughs> yeah so guys this is the end of app rounded up tell me guys if you like the video thumbs up subscribe i will I'll leave, leave a like on this video i will leave a comment down below what you want to see next in the next round up whether it be browsers whether it be um um, entertainment apps, games, whatever you guys want to see, just leave a comment down below. Tell me, I'll make sure to pick one, and do a video on it. So, 
I'll uh, catch you guys in later. Remember to subscribe for more videos. And I'll catch you later. Bye.